<laughs> All right, let's work on these three together. Work together cooperatively. Oh, I have a question. Yes? yes. What about your little thing? It broke. Oh. Oh. It broke. I'll get a new one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. My life. I'll get a new one. <laughs> get some money as a, as a math teacher by math anymore. <laughs> Uh, all right, distributed property, two distributed to three x, also to four, make six x plus eight, minus four x plus one, six x minus four x is two x, eight plus one is nine, two x plus nine. Yeah, you. Yeah. Woo! Woo uh, let's see this one next. <laughs> Unless there are questions. Is there a question? Yeah. Um, I thought you couldn't times two times three because two doesn't have an x. So I think you're, you're just confusing that with adding. You can't oh, you multiply can. oh, okay. them. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, so let's look at the two different things. But only if you're distributing. Yes. Yes. Well, no. It it's just when you're multiplying, which might happen when you distribute, or it might happen some other. It just doesn't happen very often that we multiply something by an x term when it's not being distributed. You don't normally see just that, right? Yeah. So that's. But you don't. It's not that it only works when you're distributing. It's yes, just that you're multiplying. Yeah. And so we have two plus three x, which just like that's it. There's there's nothing more to say about it. It's two ones, one plus one, plus three x's. Right? And then there's just nothing to say about it. There's two ones plus three x's, two plus three x. Right. But two times three x. Well, it's 2 times 3 times x. 2 times 3 is 6 times x. It would be the same as if I said 2 times 3 times 8. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. Now that I have a third number there, 6 times 8 is 48. Right? It's just that there's nothing to multiply. You know, there's no x. There's nothing in that place. So it just hangs out and waits for that fateful day when x arrives. Know what x is. So yeah, we can multiply two by three x and get six x. Any other questions? Okay, let's go over here and we'll just jump right into distributing. Seven x plus five minus twelve x. Negative three times negative five. Positive. Plus ten. Seven x minus twelve x. That's all the x's. So negative five x. Plus 30. Plus 15 plus 10 is 30. Uh, okay, hold on. So we're just like, no, no, all right, I just did it wrong. Okay. I'm good. Um, if we could combine things, we would combine things, but we can't. There's no like terms of, well, I guess I could take this 12 and subtract this 8. So uh, I guess we could do that at the same time that we distribute. So I'll distribute. I'll also do 12 minus 8 is 4. So I'll put a plus 4 there at the end. Negative 9x plus whatever I get when I distribute plus the 12 minus 8 is 4. 2x squared. 2x squared. That's the thing you want to remember. They went around. Uh, I saw a few people forgetting about that. x times 2x. It's really x times 2 times x. So I'll just rearrange this. That's 2 times x times x. All I'm doing there is I'm using the, the commutative property. I'm going to switch this stuff around, but it's OK, because I'm just multiplying a bunch of things together. And we have a special way of writing x times x. That's x squared. Something type of itself is that thing squared. And x times negative 6 is negative 6x. What if you uh, didn't do the um, 12 minus 8 in the beginning? That, that'll, it'll be fine. Okay. Because you're going to at some point. Uh, if you wind up with a, with a plus 4 at the end, then yeah, you did the 12 minus 8 somewhere along the line. Uh, we have x squareds here. We have x's. And we have 1's. So it'll be 2x squared. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Was that 15? Well, no, negative 15. Negative 15. Minus 15 x plus 4. What if I um, put negative 15 x plus 4 plus 2 x squared? Like it's just, it's the same, but it's in a different order. That's fine. Okay. Because then you would still, the order of operations would, if you plug a number for x, give you the exact same thing. Right? This is just, after years of doing algebra in, in school and teaching it, you get used to writing it. Okay. Any questions about that? Then, are you ready to show me that you know what you're doing? Yes. In this arena? You ready to like put everything away and Test show up? Yeah. Let's do it. Show me, shut up. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Like a little two question. Quiz. No. Yes. Why not? <laughs> now we're going to get ready at some point today. What questions do we have before we do that? We're ready. No one's ready to do that. What do you want? Might be nothing. Might be important. I just don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, Questions we have, or like, should I just make one up and we'll, we'll try again, or what, what do you just think? Make, just make one up. Make one up and try again. Yeah. Right then, we'll do that. So this goes. We're in math class. X plus five, two x times x seven plus x minus four. All right, throwing it out there. Okay, a couple of things. Remember when you multiply an x by an x? It's squared. Okay. When you add an x to an x, it's x. It's not x squared. Um, x squared can be added to x's. They're completely different. They're literally in different dimensions. Okay? So they don't even really, they can't even see each other just like you can't see the u from another dimension. Okay? You understand? Yes. Right. So 3x plus 5. 2x times 5x is 10x, 10x squared. Yeah. 2x times negative 7 is negative 14x plus x minus 4. Collect like terms. Now we can collect like terms. We have 10x squared. No other x squareds are there. Okay, so the 10x squareds are off in that dimension. 3x. Minus 14x, negative 11x, 11. Oh, okay. plus a, an x brings us back up to and negative 10x. And 5 minus 4 one. is 1. Check that one, I'm gonna put another one up here. Uh, well, you can downsize it. Do it right. up. I'll still see it. We'll change it up in a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, is this the other one? Yep, let's work on this one. Alright. Let's all work on this together. Negative four x times two x, eight x squared. Negative four x times negative one, positive four x. Three times x, four, twelve. Four x squared plus three x. So we're missing over the previous step. squareds, the x squareds, 4x squared minus 8x squared is how many x squared? Negative 4x squared. 3x uh, plus 4x plus 3x is 10x. 
That's all there is left is this minus as well. Okay. Instead of drawing up a whole new one, let's talk about what this would change. If I put, put a square on that one. Well, that means you're just being bold. No. <laughs> so it's not going to change anything about that, right? Because that's three times these parentheses. It's not going to change this. But something about when it is true, you the negative. A of x would be a three. So two, it, would be, it won't be two squared, it'll be three. We'll have a three. Cube. Slow down. It's called cube. Cube, thank you. <laughs> so it would be negative 8x cube. cube. Yeah. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Well, what about this 4x here? Well, that will be 4x squared. Right. Yes? Can't 4x plus 10x cancel? Can't 4x plus 10x cancel? Are you talking about that here? Yeah. So this is 4x squared and this is 10x to the first. So that, they can't go together. That is not an x. <laughs> but you changed it. No. No, 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 no. Yes. 8x squared. Okay, 4x squared plus 4x squared would be 8x squared. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then let's go ahead and just drop that negative minus 8. I'll just put it out here. There's, yeah. Ooh. And then it's going to be 6x. 3x plus 3x would be 6x. Quiet. What's the last? What? What comes at the end here, Wyatt? At the end of what? That? The end of this. Um, uh oh. He doesn't know. Uh, yes. three. <laughs> Shut the <door. laughs> There's a chance for redemption. Wyatt, quit stalling. Let's have it. It's not that hard. Yeah, it's not that hard. Okay, hold on. I got this. It's the only thing it could be. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. the only thing it could be. Just Minus which one did you do? I just told you. It's the only thing. Look, it's the very nice. Oh, I see. Just take that one out. I just told you. Minus 12. Minus 12. Yes. Oh, my God. Now, Wyatt, if you're paying attention the whole time, you would have known that right away. Please fight the urge <laughs> not to pay attention. I'm going to have to stand over there. Buy wireless tablets just so I can stand next to you <laughs> the entire class. What are we going to have to the next this minute? If you do that. <laughs> it's going to be silent. I don't think she's going to distract you. Okay. Are we now ready to show yes. what we know? One more. One more? Oh, okay. Oh. One more. Oh. One more. Oh. Really? Really? Yeah. 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 Negative 3x squared times 2x. Negative 6x squared. Cute. Cute. Hold on. Oh, For those of you to whom that is not immediately obvious, let's look at it real quick. So we have negative 3 times x squared times 2 times x. Right. So I can write it as negative 3 times 2 times x squared times x. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. What does x squared mean? X times x. x times x. So we have x times x, that's what x squared is, times x. x. x times itself 3 times x cubed. Negative 3 x squared times 5, negative 15. X. Negative 2 times 6. Negative 12. Somebody I was helping had a negative 6 there. Just to 
copying error. So whoever that was, watch out. Sure? It's probably one. Or the ending. Mm -hmm. You'll see. Evaluate. Somebody had a negative oh. six inside the parentheses. I don't know who that was. Oh, okay. All right, so I, I tend to go through and find the highest power of x and see if there are any like terms in combine. So I have an x cubed, no other x cubes, so that's it. x squared, there's one there. That's the only one around, so minus 15x squared. We got a 4x and minus 2x. Minus 12, negative 6. Yeah. All right, there was our one more. Let's go ahead and whenever we take a review, uh, let's get through this real quick. We distribute the negative 2, those two items there. Positive 4x. No, not get up and put things away. Where's your positive? Because it's two negatives. Positive, sorry, 14x. Okay. Negative 2 times positive 3, negative 6. Minus 5, minus 2x. 14x minus 2x is 12x. 8 minus 6 is 2 minus 5, negative 3. Distribute 3x, 5x squared plus 1, minus 12x squared plus 6x, minus 6x. Cancel the spot of last two out. They cancel each other out. 5x squared plus, uh, I don't know why I'm writing that. Squared. Combine the 5x squared and the 12x squared. Or you can just put 1. Squared. Minus 12x squared is negative 7x squared plus 1. Yes, I got that right. Good for you. last thoughts to keep in mind before we come back next class. Uh, so let, let's keep going to this distribution idea. I'm going to show you something else about distribution uh, when we come back after the weekend. But now, should be pretty good since we've been distributing like all day long. What would that look like when I distribute the two? Show me. 10x minus 6. Okay, let's distribute something else. How about 4x? Somebody else tell me what it would look like. Maybe, please. Um, it would be 20x squared <coughs> minus y squared. So close. 20x squared minus. I mean, uh, 12x. Sorry. Yes, exactly. Minus 12x. Okay, how about. Happy face. Four happy face. That happy face is distracted, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Staring at you, Carson. Mm -hmm. 
Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Two more. Two more. Okay, have a good day. Well, I'll see you in the gym.